Okay, you guys, this is the braid pattern that I decided to use. I wanted to try something different because um, she has a thick, thick hair. Even though it's short, it's super thick. And I didn't want them to unravel and I didn't want it to come apart. So this is my braid pattern with the side part. Um, it's real easy, real simple braid pattern. It does take a little longer than my usual braid pattern, but the style will last longer braided like this. Okay, y'all, I did put a stocking cap over her head. Uh, this is uh, to help keep the braids in place as the style gets older. Um, some clients like it, some don't. She actually wanted it. Um, you can wash your hair with this. I know a lot of people will ask, can you wash your hair with that cap on your head? You can, but you really, really have to make sure that your hair gets dry. I would recommend sitting under the hair dryer after washing your hair with this. But I'm not sure if she'll wash her hair with it, given the type of hair. She, this is synthetic hair. Um, she does keep her hair in a while, but she may not wash it with this. And that's why I did the cap as well. So, I mean, um, a style like this with this cap can last a couple of months. She might keep hers in about two months, and that's fine. Um, but, yeah, you can wash your hair. I know I get that question a lot in the comments. I do thread about, I have about 10 needles that I thread. I need to get more for a full sewing. I would suggest at least having three, no, 20 pre-threaded needles. And it'll speed up the process too so you don't have to keep stopping to re-thread. Okay, so from right here, I'm just going to be sewing the hair back and forth in like a U shape and then once I get a little above the ear I'm going to take it up to the part and curve it around the part then flip it over it'll kind of give you the illusion of the invisible part hopefully I think I did it where you can really see it um but see right here I'm curving it right here then I'll flip over and you just got to make sure you do it pretty tight right there as far as with the needle and thread and it'll give you the illusion of an invisible part without without actually doing an invisible part. Um, if y'all want to see something like that in more detail, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to add that. Well, I'll be sure to make another video showing how I do that to give you the illusion of an invisible part without actually doing an invisible part. When doing this, you guys, please, please pay attention. Like you can see right here, I had to cut the thread because I caught some of the hair from the other side of the part. Um, if you're not paying attention or if you get distracted, you kind of have to go back and correct yourself. Uh, we were watching TV and stuff. so But yeah, just double check when you're doing it. Make sure not to grab the thread from the other side of the part. But it's, it was a real simple fix. And this is like the easiest invisible part that... Um, you can do without taking you an hour or 30 minutes it's just go 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 the whole style took about an hour and a half to do after the well yeah an hour and a half to do it took about an hour and a half to do um maybe two hours with the braiding the braiding took longer than i had anticipated but it did take a while um but um about a two hour hairstyle so that's not bad that included an invisible part so yeah
So at this part, instead of flipping it over, I'll just start to sew in a circle now. Because I have enough flipped over for the part. And then towards the end of the part, I'll just start sewing it in a circle so it'll all blend in. But you'll see towards the end how it happens. But yeah, so from this part on, after you get to the edge of the part, of the back of the part, start um, flipping, just start sewing in a circle until you finish the style and just sew it all up. And I'll show you in the end how it looks. Well, you'll see in the end how it looks. So to close up the circle, I'm going to just keep sewing around and around until I get maybe a couple of centimeters. Then I'll cut the remaining track and the rest of the track I'll just sew into the little circle. So you won't see any track at the top. It'll just look like, um, it'll just look like the hair, like the hair is just coming out of the scalp. And then you'll see towards the end how we combed out the hair and see how full and thick it is. I, don't know if I got a real close-up of the part, but you'll see how the part is as well. But this is the desired look. We used two bags of hair and I'll post pics of the hair that we used at the end.